In this video, we will continue to examine the recursion principles by displaying a sequence of Fibonacci numbers. Now, what exactly is Fibonacci numbers? Well, the definition says that it is a series of numbers in which each number, called Fibonacci number, is the sum of the two preceding numbers. So, such sequence goes like this. The first number would be 1 by default, and then the next number would be 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1, the next number will be 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2, then 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and you can see all the way to whatever number you want to display. So as you can see, displaying such sequence is a prime candidate for a loop solution. And we could simply loop until a certain number, let's call it a number n, and within the loop perform the sum of the two last numbers or two preceding numbers and then display the result. And the result, of course, will now be our next number and then we will loop using that number as our last number to calculate the next one. So, enough talking, let's just see how it is coded. So, just like before, I'm going to do a loop solution first and then a recursive. So, let's just display that first is going to be the Fibonacci loop solution. And now I'm going to declare two variables. It's going to be number 1 and number 2. These are the numbers that we will be adding together to create the number 3. Now number 1 by default will be 0. Remember these are the first two numbers. So the first number is 0, the next one is 1, and then we'll calculate the third number by adding these two together. So 0 plus 1, the third number would be calculated as 1, then it's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2, and so forth. So number 2 will be by default set to 1. And now we can do our loop. And we can do a simple for loop, and let's just, for this exercise, do 15 numbers in the sequence. So we'll start with 0, and then we'll loop until i equals or is less than 15. And of course, we will do i++. plus plus. With each iteration, we'll add plus 1 to i. Alright, so now, within our loop, we need to add number 1 and number 2 together, and then we need to reassign the values for these numbers, because now we have a new number that is the last number that wasn't there before. So I'm going to create a variable, I'll call it next, and that will be the addition of number 1 and number 2. But now, our number 1 will have the value of number 2, and our number 2, which is now the latest number, will obviously have the value of the next, which is the addition of number 1 and number 2. So basically, the original value of number 1, we will forget it. We don't need it in the next iteration, because now we have a new number that is our last number, and the previous number is now obviously the no new number 1. So, like I said, number 2 will now equal the value that is in the calculation and it's stored in the variable next. And now we can simply display the next variable in our console. And this is all there is to it, so let's run it. And you can see that my Fibonacci numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so forth. And you can see that the addition works. 1 plus 2 equals 3, uh, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, and so forth. However, the sequence should start with 0 and 1, which is the two first default numbers. So before we do our loop, I'm simply going to display the number 1 and number 2. So the sequence will start with 0 and 1, and then whatever numbers come from within the loop. So I'll do a console.write line and display number 1 and also number 2. So if I run it now, you can see that the sequence is now complete. 0, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, um, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so forth. So our loop solution works. I believe this is fairly simple and easy to understand, but of course, it is also possible to code this using recursion, which is the whole point of this uh, exercise. So let me show you how to do that in the next video.